Hey everyone, it's Chris with Illinois Agriculture in the Classroom and I have an exciting addition that I've made to my farm. Let me show you. It's bees! I've decided to add two honeybee hives to my farm this year. So I decided, why don't I take you all along for the ride and show you what it's like to be a beekeeper for a year. This is Bee School. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're telling me that you spent perfectly good money on thousands of insects that, worst case scenario, could all sting you? Yeah. And this is fun for you? Like, it, it's a hobby? Yeah, oh yeah, it's really fun. Have you heard of video game? No, 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 no. It, it'll be fun. Trust me. Come on. Okay, so I bought two packages of bees. So each package has one queen inside, and she's actually in a little cage hidden behind these bees right here. And then there's three pounds of worker bees. So that's roughly 10,000 bees and one queen. This hive will continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger as long as I do everything right. So these ladies have been in these packages for about 24 hours roughly. The person I bought them from is a, uh, a beekeeping supply company and they actually drive down to Georgia, pick these up and then drive them back overnight and then distribute them to beekeepers. So. I think these ladies are pretty anxious and ready to get out of here, so I'm going to install them into their new homes. I'm going to take you along for the ride. It's really, really windy outside today, and so I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I normally would, and I'm also going to not try to talk to you as I do it, but I'm going to narrate over the video after the fact so that you don't have to listen to the wind howling. All right, let's go install some bees. Let me also scream this from the rooftops. I am an amateur beekeeper. I, be, I kept bees a few years ago. I haven't done it in four or five years. I want to get back into it. I know some stuff, but I am not an expert. And so I call this bee school because I want to teach you all some things about honeybees, but also I'm going to be learning right along with you. So I might say some stuff that's not 100% accurate or that a lot of other more experienced bee beekeepers would disagree with. That's okay. We're all here to learn. Okay, here we are in our apiary. So an apiary is a collection of beehives. So here I am with my packages and I'm gonna use my hive tool to peel off this top piece of wood here. And you can see this can in here. This is a can of sugar syrup. So the people who package these bees put that feed in there and they put a couple of tiny little holes in the bottom of the can to feed those bees for their long journey. So I'm gonna to start to pull that can out. And before I pull it out all the way, I wanna spray these guys down with some sugar syrup. And so this is syrup that I made ahead of time. And so I'm gonna spray them down and that's gonna wet down the bees. They're gonna start feeding off each other, make them kind of sticky and essentially uh, distracts them and keeps them from, from, from flying all over the place once I actually open up this package up. And then I'm gonna hit that down onto the table. That might seem like it's gonna hurt the bees, but it, but it actually doesn't. And you can see there, there's the queen cage hanging down from inside that package. So I'm gonna pull that out here in just a minute. So I'm spraying more sugar syrup into the hive, trying to get those bees distracted, while my next step is to get that queen out and get her into the hive first. The reason the queen is not with the rest of the bees is they this is a new queen for these bees, and so they need to get used to her, her pheromones. And so basically they need to accept her as their new queen, and then they'll do everything they can to protect her. And so by putting her in a cage, it protects her for those first couple days and allows them to get used to her. So the strap here, I'm gonna peel that up and pull out the queen cage. And inside this cage is a queen and a couple of attendants to help her out. And when we do a close up here, you should be able to see a little white dot kind of dancing around in there. That is the queen. So she is a marked queen. So they use a little paint marker on her. And so it makes her easier for me to find her in the hive. So what I'll do is take her over to my hive body and you can see those wooden slats, those are frames. And so that's where the bees are going to make honeycomb. Before I do that, I'm gonna take out this cork out of the bottom of this queen cage. And so this white stuff in there is candy, essentially, sugar candy. And so what will happen is the queen and her attendants will eat uh, on one side, the bees in the other part of the hive will eat on the other side. And within a couple of days, they're gonna eat through that and release the queen from there. And so then it will be time for her to uh, hopefully start laying some eggs and increasing the size of this hive. So I'm gonna suspend her in here kind of push her with these frames and then uh, she's going to stay there for the next couple days so i'm going to put on my inner cover and again normally if it wasn't so windy i would have just shaken that package of bees into the hive but i'm going to do it a little differently today because of the wind i don't want to disturb the bees any more than i than i have to 
So what I'm going to do is just flip this package over on the hive and then put another empty hive body on top and allow those bees to kind of work their way down into the hive over the next couple hours. So I hit them one more time to get them loose. I'm going to flip them over that hole on the inner cover. You can see they're going to go right down and around and surround that queen, which is what I want. I'll put the hive body on top. And then I'm just going to put the outer cover on top of this. And then in a couple hours, I'll come back and check on them to make sure that they have worked their way down into that hive. So I'm going to leave them undisturbed for the next couple days. And then within about two or three days, I'm going to open this hive back up again and make sure that the queen is out of the cage and uh, is doing what she's supposed to be doing. All right, there you go. The bees are in their new home. All right, that's a wrap on getting my bees installed to their new hives. I really hope that you'll consider joining me for this adventure this year. We have a lot to learn together here at Bee School.